Hey what's up guys this is Lovejeet Arora welcome in the Tag Queen channel so today we are going to start a new thing uh, as you know that we are covering here the ICSC class 10th syllabus so here we will start what is the difference between a static and non static method in java so let's do it practically so first of all we have to create a class okay let's say that I have to create a class so let's say that a class is their static function okay so this is the name of my class and after that I'm going to create a function that is our main function right so now see there these are my access specifier public I'm going to write there if I'm going to write their static and let's say that I have given their static this is usually we are doing there right public static and void main uh, this is my written type void is written type and main is the just name of my function right let's say that i'm printing here something system dot out dot so i am printing something something means let's say that computer okay so see uh, this we have done okay so now what will happen so if I have created a function that is static, so that means no need to create the object of this class. Okay, without object, this function can run, right? Without object, this function can run. Let's say that I'm creating one more function there and that will be known static there, right? So now that will be known static there. Let's say that its name is uh, print, okay, print its name. And if I'm going to create this non-static, okay, first of all, let's run that. This is my non-static and this function also no need any object for call. And this function is also no need for a call, right? If I am declaring it non-static, so that means now this function need a object, okay, with the help of this or with the help of object of this class, I can call to this method. I can call to this function okay let's say that let's say uh, now you just run that function so what gonna happen there so if i will do right click there so it is asking to me that the void main function okay so void main function is there so that is run so whatever you want to print that is printed there but what about this function but, but uh, what about this function how we can uh, print this computer here if i'm just printing here print okay so now for that if i'm going to put there also static okay so now this you can see here okay that also i found their computer and this print also i found their print and computer uh, right print okay computer was the previous answer okay so now if i am doing it non-static so now what i have to do i just have to create the method of the class first of all okay i can give here any name to this method so that is as per on us otherwise it will provide us a default name right i had created so now now i can call to the function that is a print function okay means a static function always uh, always you can call without the object of the class but non-static method you need a object right so now let's say that this is my non-static method now i can create the object inside the class also let's say that this is the name of my class control c and this is the name of my class and i have given there obj is equals to new then obj okay so now with the help of object of this class i can call to the method this one right if i'm going to call that obj dot and if i'm giving the print right so now no need to create the object outside so what we can do without creating the object outside we can call to this method so now you can see here computer print both we found there and let's say that now if i'm going to write their static if now i'm going to write their static so now what will happen what will happen here see let's run that there is no syntax error but what will be happen there see two functions are showing to me that we can run 
because they need not any object for the call so need not to write this thing okay i can put it in the comment also right because these both are the uh, this is uh, static and if it it is non static so that time i have to call it uh, with the help of class object okay so this is my static and this is my non static method it needs object if i just want to call this if i want to print here something and if i want to do some work there inside that and that is non static for that what i have to do first of all i have to create the object of this class and with the help of that object i can call to the method and other way is that other way is what other way i can call like that also like that means uh, i can create the object outside okay here the by default name is coming i can put the same name also and here this type of that will be appear to you through that i can call now this is showing to me and one class uh, any number of object you can create there is no boundation that this we have already did study in the ninth class right so any number of object can be there so this is all about the static and the non static method means it needs not uh, any object for the call but here uh, sorry it it needs the object for the call and it needs not any object for the call right if uh, if uh, suppose that there is uh, no method static method so for that we are having there this formula this formula means to uh, creating the object outside here through that i can call right okay more than one static functions also possible in the same program right okay so whenever i want to print something here inside this non static method and, and if i just want to perform some operation some calculation inside the non static method so for that what i have to do i just have to make the object of this class through the object only we can call to that this is the difference between static and non static method right okay so i hope guys you people understood the concept so meet you in the next video bye bye